Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study, and I'm going to help you get more out of your favorite poker books or every poker book, right? So you can see on the screen right there, a little Excel spreadsheet. The first thing you want to do is grab your favorite poker book. Maybe it's Post Flop Online Poker by this guy, or maybe it is Why Alex Beats Bobby at Poker by Duncan Palamortis. Whatever your favorite book is, grab it. Now, the idea, as you're going through the book, you're going to develop an attitude. <laughs> De that sounds bad. You're going to develop an attitude. No, you're going to have this new attitude while reading the book. The attitude is, this author is my coach. He is speaking directly to me throughout the various chapters. Everything that he says is a direction from him, my one-on-one -on -one coach, to me, his student. That's the attitude I want you to have. Now, each chapter in the book is a one-on-one -on -one session with your coach once per week, once every other week, however you want to approach it. Just like if you were meeting with your coach one-on-one, -on -one, you would actually be going through, he'd be going through your database, giving you new strategies, telling you how to practice them, telling you what to study between your sessions. Just imagine this book is me telling you exactly what to do to turn yourself into the player that you wanna be. And here's what you're going to do. Each week, you're going to read the chapter and take notes. So let's say this week you are on chapter 13, which is making decisions with expected value. As you read it, take notes, things that make sense to you that are important that you want to follow up on, interesting observations, whatever. Take notes, right? You know how to take notes from high school and everything and the books that you've been reading. And remember, once again, that author's talking directly to you. So when I'm mentioning expected value, give you the EV spectrum, go through hand examples, I am talking to you, telling you how to employ, how to think about these strategies. Now, the next thing is create action steps that you can take off or on the felt based on what you learned in the book. The basic idea is like learn something, do something, right? So in my books, Always at the end, I give you action steps. Like at the end of this chapter, I have one play with purpose and then two study with purpose action steps for you to take. I give that to you, but that's not all there is, right? In these chapters, like you can imagine this chapter itself is like uh, 14 pages long. There's going to be more than just three things that you can take from that chapter and put into practice. So if you, for, for my books, for example, if you complete those action steps, but you feel like you need some more practice, devise some of your own. And let me give you an example here. So Why Alex Beats Bobby at Poker by Duncan. Love this book. Did a podcast episode or interview with him. Really good guy. Love the book. But let's say you're reading, right? And then you read something very simple. And I'll just share two lines with you. He says right here, this is chapter eight. Do not defend your blinds and defend your button instead. <gasps> Maybe that's a new revelation for you. Maybe you've never thought about that. Maybe you've been a blind defender, small blind and big blind forever because that's my money. That's my half blind. That's my full blind. I can't let you take it without a reason. But what Duncan is saying makes a lot of sense. I can give up those blinds because that's the worst position, but instead defend my button and probably my cutoff too, right? So as you read this, I'm not going to go through the strategy he discusses, but that could be a revelation to you. Any revelation as you're reading a poker book, that is something that you should be trying to employ on the felt. Defend my button, not the blinds. So what can you do? Well, in the next few play sessions, your action step can be simply to enter the pot with any decent hand when you're in that best uh, position, the button. And also to three bet from the button any players who fold a lot after open raising. Like you could have a two fold little action step that you create for yourself just after reading a couple paragraphs in Duncan's book, right? So that's what you're going to do to get the most out of your books right here. Now, oh, of course, take action with the action steps that you create or that the author gives you. And then lastly, repeat the process next week with the next chapter. So if it was chapter 13 this week, chapter 14 next week. And you know, you're in control of your own studying, your schedule and everything. If you feel that you didn't take enough action, if you feel that you didn't really employ the strategies like you wanted to, you don't feel confident with them just yet, spend another week, spend two weeks. It doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. As long as you're learning and then taking action with those things that you learn, you're going to get the most out of every book that you read from this point forward, and you're going to become the player that you want to be. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your eyeballs, and I'll catch you later.